Mommy move them hips like a tambourine. Grab that booty, squeeze it like a tangerine. The way she move, I swear she move just like a dream. Call my mama, she the baddest on the team. Drop that, work that, bounce back, groove. Drop that, work that, bounce back, groove. Drop that, work that, bounce back, groove. Drop that, work that. Yo, 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 what it do? It's for Shot the Nomad. We, I'm everywhere you want to be, and this is the... The Common Interest! Yes, sir. We in this month. <laughs> you are now tuned in to The Common Interest. Oh, yes, sir. Smooth like butter. We here. And we got Trill City Guapo in the building. What's hey, what's up? what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm glad to have you here. So, um, here at The Common Interest, we start everything off that we ask you to hit us with a rewind. That's when you can tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got involved with music, your brand, and how you got here today. All right, a little rewind. Uh, we'll start here in 2020. Uh, just released a new song, Active, available on all platforms. Yes, sir. Uh, check that out. Early this year, dropped a new music video for uh, the song I released prior to uh, Active, which is Nuts. Mm -hmm. So drop that. That show's popping. Uh, prior to 2020, man, we were uh, knocking out shows all over Houston, uh, heading our way to uh, South by Southwest till COVID hit. Man. Just kind of derailed everything, bro. Yeah, the man. whole wave just crashed. But it is what it is. Uh I've been doing music for about like taking it serious like two and a half years. Okay. Um, I'm originally from Pacoima, California. Oh, where? It's right outside of Los Angeles, man. The 818. Shout out to the 818. Okay, okay. Uh, moved here to Houston, I would say about eight years ago. So I've been here a while now. I've okay. kind of adapted and trying to yeah. took over the whole Houston thing. I feel you. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, I'm, I'm a chef. Oh, that's dope. Self-proclaimed chef. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Content creator, uh, Twitch streamer. That's dope. Um, so that's a little bit about me, man. Okay, yeah. for sure. Okay, so um, hmm, it's a lot to hit. Okay, it's first. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what made you move out to Houston? Uh, my sister got married, uh, military man. Okay. So they moved to Texas, and mom was like, "Nah, bro, we all moving." Damn. Okay. And I was like, "Damn!" And, like I was a senior in high school too, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Damn, we gonna move my senior year?" Cause like you can't just wait. Right. Like just... I'm done. I just go get my own crib. Nah, she was like, "Nah, bro, we all moving." So. Dipped out to San Antonio and I hated it there. Uh, Dude, I've, I've heard that a lot. San Antonio sucks. I don't care what anybody <laughs> says, bro. Like, the vibe there is trash. Unless you're military <laughs> or you have like a family to grow there, right. it's trash. Dang. It's like, it's nothing is. to do there or like. Yeah, it, like they don't have like a strip like 6th Street or mm -hmm. like here like Washington where you can go and just get, you know, get live you with people cuss. your you can age. Cuss if you want to. It's just like. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but um, yeah, San Antonio vibe just sucks. Okay. And okay. Their Mexican food sucks. Dang. So. Dang. Okay. I'll fight anybody. You think of a place like San Antonio would be all right, like at least decent. You would think, right? right? <laughs> it's almost like they're like, well, they, they, I think they take pride in the whole Tex Mex thing rather than just like Mexican, Mexican you know. Got you. I got so, you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's different. It's a little difference. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. And so you're a chef too. So what's your favorite thing to cook? Ooh, all right. Favorite thing? Or what do you have the most fun uh, making or something? The most fun I've had recently making something is pasta, homemade pasta. Oh, where? Dude, forearms kill you after that <laughs> shit, bro. Because you're kneading for like 12, to, you know, 10, 12 minutes, bro, and you're like getting that pasta ready. Yeah. It slaps. You know, it's worth it. It's worth the time you put into it, but it's probably the funnest because it's just messy and shit. So yeah. you're just in there just fucking with the whole That's dope. The Damn. pasta shit. Yeah, that's but, like um, you get like into I, Italian roots or something. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like some. Uh, I really didn't cook up until like COVID hit, though. Oh, where? Yeah. And then I was like, I saw people doing the whole bread craze, you know, like making sourdough bread during COVID and shit. Like, where? I, yeah, I early that. early COVID, it was like people. <laughs> it was mostly white people, but they're just like, "Yo, I'm gonna make sourdough bread," and it was like a wave. And I was like, "I don't eat bread that much, so I'm just gonna learn how to cook properly." Right. So I started making like eggs. I watched like Chef Gordon Ramsay make eggs. Bro, so he's like he yelling at me through through YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, "Damn, bro!" Uh, and just from there, just tried new dishes and shit. So okay, um, kind of progress. That's dope. Yeah, That's man. dope. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so let's get into the music. So you say you dropped Active recently, yes? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, what inspired that track? Um, shit, man. You know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that people don't see with artists, mm -hmm. especially an artist like me who doesn't have a team. I have no team. Word. I don't have a manager. I don't have I don't have nothing, bro. Dang. It's just me by myself. I invest in my, myself, my own craft. Um, so so it's it. it's a little more work that you got to go because you think of some of these artists, man, who like really pop off and they do work, man. But when you have a team behind you, it's, it's so much, so much easier. So, yeah. um, you know, I've had homies going out, partying, 
having a good time. Mm. And I'm just like, nah, dude, I got to stay home. I got to send out these emails. So I'm like hitting up vloggers overseas and just trying to push the track out as much as possible. Right. Um, and so this song was kind of just like, man, like while all the homies are out there, you know, having a good time, I'm in here grinding. It's going to pay off. You right. know what I'm saying? But it sucks. And I think through the process, I learned like as hard as you want to grind at night, still have a good ass time. Yeah. Like you still have to go out and do stuff. And I get that the work has got to be there, but don't don't get so caught up in the work that you start hating the work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You should love what you do. For sure. hundred so percent. That's that song is just kind of just about, you know, uh, grind, grinding when everybody else is, you know, fading off and, you know, at the same time having a good time. Okay. Especially in Texas in Texas Moonlight, man. I don't know too many people like to have fun during the Texas day. It's yeah. hot as fuck out here. No, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Just burn. <laughs> like I I'm brown, bro, but like I've been inside all day. Mm -hmm. If I go outside in the sun, just yeah. scorched, bro. You'll like, get you'll like, get a ton of liquor. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, I'd rather go out at night, you know what I'm saying? When right. it's nice and fresh and cool and the moonlight just kinda changes the whole vibe of everything. No, for sure. Yeah, the, the nighttime is the um, the preference for sure. The preference for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Smoking yeah. the nighttime, everything. Right. Better, you had bro. Super Moon earlier. What um what was it like like a couple weeks ago, right? Mm, was it? Yeah, I think so. We had the Super Moon. because um, that's I had to like Was the it red, around like it was a no my bad, it wasn't Super Moon, it was a blue moon. Was that the one during Halloween? Yep, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, I dropped yeah. the yeah I dropped active the day before Halloween. That's dope. Yeah, that's uh because I like the um well the words gave me cover art. Oh, the yeah. cover art. Yeah, yeah, the cover yeah. art. Really I put dope. that up on uh on Instagram and I told some people because people were kind of like oh, yeah. hating on my last cover art. Oh, where? No, the avocado for nuts. They were just like, <laughs> nah. that shit looks so weird. And I was like, dude, like I really dig it, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm still bringing it out. Cool. I like it. I like and it. so <laughs> I did like three different designs. I did two myself, and I did my I had my daughter do one. And I was like, y'all pick which one y'all like, so y'all can stop complaining about this shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they chose that that one that I used for the active uh, soundtrack and it came out pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I, like I do that. all my own art too. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, like, I, yeah. I, that's cool. Okay. I have to, bro. Like, damn. I feel, okay. <laughs> I was going to ask you, you do your um your cover art designs mm -hmm. and everything because that's yeah. that stuff's really dope. I feel like um it makes sense why like the cover art fits the track because yeah. you're the person making it. Making so. it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I've had to just kind of like I said, without a team, you have to do the shit you don't even want to do. Bro. Right. You, you got to learn this. stuff that you just like. Damn, I can't just pay somebody to do this shit. Right. But at the same time, it's like, well, if I'm paying for this, I'm paying for that. I'm paying for that. Like, yeah. Yeah. You more money got to come in and goes out. Exactly. But you know, it's, it's the mission to get to the point where you yeah. don't have to do anything. You just, you can pay people. It's not even dead in your pockets type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't mind feeding people, man. I'll pay whoever I got to. It's just like. At the pace that I'm moving at right now, it's, I just ain't got it to be good. You know, it's, it's priorities and things. Yeah. You got like yeah. it's got bills. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> right? Who don't got bills? Right? You got to take care of that, bro. It's that's the 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 uh, the plight of a creative. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's how it go. You got to yeah. do it yourself. But it's dope that you're doing it like that, though. I like it. I like it. Um, the other uh, single you had out was uh, nuts. 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 Yes. That's nuts. Okay, who is a random little white girl? That is my daughter. That's your daughter? Dude, all right. So <laughs> I don't even take offense by that because like it's happened since she was born. People were like, yo, that's your kid? I'm like, that's my kid. Um, she, hair's blonde, isn't it? It's like strawberry blonde. What? So like, all right, so my girl's white. All right, so okay. my mom's white, white. Okay, okay. And uh, I'm 100% 100% Mexican, but I have like uncles who have like red hair and blue eyes in my family. Mm, okay. And then I also have some uncles that are like, I guess, really dark. Okay. But my grandma refuses to say that they're black. She says, oh, no, they're, they're dark. <laughs> I was like, whatever, bro. I, yeah. I don't really care. Like, whatever. Yeah. But so my daughter came out with, like, blue eyes, red hair. And everyone was like, what the, what happened? Like, she looks nothing like you. That's but if crazy. you talk to her and interact with her, mm -hmm. dead ass like me. The man, Dude, everything. Dude, everything just That's like crazy. me. It's so wild. It's like a little clone of myself. That's dope. Yeah. Not a, dude, when I, uh, I tell people, like, dude, when she was little and she would cry at Walmart and stuff, I had to, like, be next to my girl because i didn't want people thinking like i was trying to take her and i've had people like dead ass stopping their tracks while i have her in my hands crying and they just like look at me i'm like i'm her dad chill Yo, bro like everybody crazy. man bro it was <laughs> yeah it's it's Yo. funny afterwards you know what yeah. I'm saying? but in the moment i'm like i hope i don't get shot like, right my own kid bro like yeah. jeez that's crazy recessive genes strong man, man bro I'm telling that's you. crazy that's kind of dope though that's cool though that's cool that you had in the video yeah, i mean God bless her, bro, because she could have looked like me. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That would have been rough for her for the rest of her hey, life, yeah, dog. The, the, uh, the privilege is going to be there for us. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That too, yeah. I'm like, you ain't going to get treated like that. It's yeah. all right. <laughs> you going to get the privilege, girl. Yeah, that's cool. She can write that off and get some yeah. uh, scholarships. She, dude, yeah. she loves the whole like the whole Mexican culture, man. She's like, Word. she engulfs herself in it, which is cool because I'm like, I mean, I don't know why people going to get mad, but they don't really got a culture, bro. Like, 
I mean, the country music, like that's still us. That's black people. What? We made that. What country music? Yeah. But I'm talking about like as far as like culture. There's more. Oh, you talking like that, just like what what do, what do white people have as far as like cultural? Like they have nothing. I'm gonna be real. Like you can't even name a dish that's theirs. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you, nah. you can't say like lasagna, but oh, that's Italian. Like it, shit. Even dogs, that. Even pasta was like made like, by uh, Chinese. Chinese. People. Okay, yeah. I heard that on a YouTube video, and yeah. I was I don't know about that. Blew me one, away. Man. Yeah, yeah, me too. I was like, damn, Chinese got everything unlocked. Yeah, man. They be uh, they be trying to um, what's the word? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like a gentrification of the of the history. Of or the something. history. Yeah. yeah. No, I believe it. Yeah. yeah this, they be switching it up. That's crazy. But um, hey, what were we talking about before? Uh, we were talking about nuts music video. That's right. Yeah, my we started talking with your daughter. Yeah, a oh, whole little sidetrack. Okay, bet. Uh, <laughs> so, um, who did the choreography? Um, so the homie who was in the video with me, uh-huh. uh, it was okay. So let me let me backtrack a little bit. I wanted to do some choreography for the video. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anyone. So I I knew no one who knew how to right. dance. I even hit up some people on TikTok like, "Yo, mm-hmm. I'll break bread with you, bro. I just need a dance to come up for the- nobody hit me back." Right? Damn. And it, I mean, it, it doesn't it, it doesn't like phase me. It's whatever. Like I get it. Yeah. People are gonna hit you back. Um. So my the girl who does my hair on my braids, mm-hmm. she was like, well, "I got this homie. He dances like really dope at parties, but I don't think he's ever like choreographed something. Mm-hmm. Give me his number." Right. Hit him up on IG. We meet up, and he's like, um, "Yeah, his name's Chantel." Um, he's like, "Yeah, you know, I, I've never done this before, so I'm super nervous." And I was like, "Dude, I've never done it. Like, I don't even know how to dance, bro. Like, you're nervous. Like, I'm the rapper here, bro. Like, think about how I'm gonna look. Right. Like, don't worry about yourself. Selfish." Um, and so, dude, we we probably practiced. I would say uh, maybe two, three weeks straight, man, of just doing that routine every right. day. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Um, and my daughter was there. Mm-hmm. So she just learned to dance with us. That's and bad. so when we shot the video, it was supposed to be originally me, him, um, and I guess some other people who I was going to have. But the music video got canceled or moved over, moved mm. date because of the hurricane that was coming. Who oh, had hit. It was okay. around that same time. Yeah, I got you. I got and you. so the next day, people were like, I can't pull up. So yeah. I was like, it's me and you, bro. Right. Nobody else. We're going to shoot this video. We're going to make it happen. Yep. Even the car club I was supposed to have there didn't pull up. It was Dang. crazy. Yeah. Um, but we made it happen. Yeah, My daughter nah. was like, I want to be in it. I was right. like, shit, be it in dope. it. Let's go. Nah, yeah, let's go. And then, but this is what I've gotten so far. Everybody's like, yo, who's the cute little white girl? Yeah. I'm like, damn. I'm like, bro, you're supposed to be listening to my music. Like, pay attention <laughs> to me, bro. I got my hair fresh for that video and everything, yo. bro. People are like, nah, who's the little white girl? No, because facts. Cause you listen to, you're watching the video. It's like, okay, the music's dope. But then all of a sudden, randomly, white girl. It's like, who's, whose child is this? Right. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> whose kid did he have done? Yeah. <laughs> He's using random people, man. I'm thinking like you know, some like lady walked over on the side. She walked up. He's like, oh, I want to be in the video. Just started yeah. doing the dance. Like, I mean, no, but <laughs> yeah. it was something like that too. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, that don't be the video. All right, cool. jump in here, do right. the dance. And she, I mean, she knew it. That was the crazy thing. She's five years old, and she just like watched us and did some of the dances with that's us. She was like, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that's dope. It's like, stuff cool. the kids absorb in, man. Bro, she she's a music head, just kind of like me. So she wants to be she wants to rap. Well, she wanted to be a rapper. Right now, she wants to be a pop star singer. I'm like, dude, do what you want to do. Yeah, just make music. Yeah, just make music. Yeah, yeah it's all they'll, they'll put you You'll in the box. blend yeah. <laughs> all that stuff together. You'll be good. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. This, this, um, that's what the great thing about music, man. You can do whatever you want with it. It's, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a language. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm doing with my music. I'm kind of, I don't, like, if you listen to a lot of my, my music in my catalog, like, it's a lot of it's different. It doesn't mm-hmm. sound the same. Even my, my cadences and some of those aren't the same. Yeah. And it's just because, like, I know my style. I know what I want to sound like. I just want to try new shit. And that's why I keep releasing singles because I'm like, I don't, nobody's asked me for an album. Like, yo, dude, let me hear a whole album from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, speaking of that, I want to ask you about um, the singles you got with uh, True. Yeah, True Future. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. So you have a bunch of singles. It's like, Mm -hmm. y'all could have just made an EP out of that, bro. Yes. What happened? (laughs) Like, Um, a lot of those, we kind of just kind of, we hit the studio and we were like, boom, we got it done. And we didn't want to wait. We were like, dude, let's put it out. Why wait? you know, X amount of X amount of time to put out a whole EP when people's like mindset when was the last time you listened to a full album. Like sat there and listened not not even like a Drake. Like just a homie who just dropped a full album. It's like very a, rare that people do that shit. Yeah, I do. But I you'll do listen some people more people will listen to singles rather than a full album. True. Especially if they're homies. I mean if it's a Drake or Lil Dirk, somebody who's bigger, they'll they'll be like, Oh yeah, I listen to the whole album. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, dude, let's put it out one at a time. So that way, if people don't like it, we're hearing it right away since we're dropping this shit. Right. We know not to come back to this or waste our time with it. Okay. Um, 
but yeah, a lot of and a lot of those songs with him are just oh, they're very different. Yeah, each nah. one has a different vibe to it for sure. Yeah, for sure. But he nah. uh, he made all those beats from all those songs. Right. Everything he's featured on, he made all those beats. Uh, he also made the nuts beat. Okay, so yeah, I, I, like it, I like his beats. Who made the beat for um was it Yuck Out? Yeah, he did too. He did. Okay, dude. No, all right, I like so his, I like true. True. Uh, he goes by at True the Future on Instagram. Um, Check that out. Follow him. Yeah, man, he is dope. I, I tell a lot of people he's a, he was so ahead of his time, bro. When he came out, I think he still is. I think his time is coming. Mm. Um, it's just the sounds that he puts together, and they're they're kind of repetitive. And I think as a human mind, right, mm. we like kind of repetition. Mm. Um, and dude, they just slap. Yeah. I don't know how to put it together, no, man. They and, do. and living living with him, you know, waking up in the morning just hearing just the pads right. hitting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every day for like, I think we lived together for about a year and a half, uh, two years. And dude, every day just hearing boop, 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 boop. Just That's dope though. Waking I mean, up to that shit, going to sleep to that shit, hearing beats and hearing his progression's been crazy. So I mean we yeah, man, we kinda started this journey together. He moved back to Cali though. Okay. He was here in Houston. He moved back to Cali and uh now we're kinda just doing uh trying to hit both coasts. I feel that. No, that's smart. It's smart. Yeah. Shit, you can't go wrong with that. That's dope though. I like that. I like that. That's a uh, a genuine um music relationship. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. I like his music though. Um his production sounds real dope. It reminds me like like that grungy, like our uh, future kind of stuff. Yeah, and I like that, and I like yeah. that because um, yuck, yuck out is my favorite Sony job. That's crazy. I, yeah. I hear that a lot, yeah. man. Yeah, it's like it's that old, like grungy, like turn up, but like it's like turn up, but it's also like I don't know, just some rage shit. Yeah. I feel like I try to tell people like if you about to go to the bar, go hang out with the homies, and you getting ready, like mm. play that song right before you leave the door. I promise you, bro, you are gonna feel so hype, bro. <laughs> yeah. it's just that boom. Yeah. Boom. Just like, all right, cool, man. It, it's just that. a vibe to it, and that's what I wanted to really that song to be. Just like, yo, bro, like it should be dark. It should be a nighttime ride. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it sounds, but, it sounds like most of your music kind of has like that dark sound to it, though. You like that music? Music like that is just what kind of where you at right I now. I think that's just where I'm at right now. Okay, I feel um, that. I did find some some beats. I was scavenging for some beats. I got some new music I want to drop. Uh, and I found a different sound. I have, I have my uh, my girl who listens with me. She'll mm-hmm. be like, she's like, yeah, that was a little different than the last one. That was a little bit. It's a little more poppy or more you know uh, commercial. And I'm like, skip. <laughs> <laughs> like, you want to go that route? <laughs> I don't want to go that route. Not yet, bro. Not because I understand like going commercial. You know, you probably get more of an audience. But I want people to really like like me for my sound, I feel not that. because I sound like what everybody else is sounding like. No. Nah. So um, it's better. Um, it's a better. Uh, Reception. I feel like you have a long lasting career if that's the case too. Yeah, you know, get yourself a nice cult following. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's that's better than just having like, like you drop a hot song, you get like a million people to follow you, and then like the next song you drop, they're not paying attention. They're to not it. paying attention. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you don't have no longevity with that. Yeah. So that's no. Nah, I feel that. That's yeah. Smart. Like I started my Instagram uh, when I started taking this shit serious so about mm-hmm. two and a half years ago. It's maybe it's getting close to about a thousand followers. But what I tell people is like I don't have the 10k, 15k that some mm-hmm. of these other rappers have. But I know if I drop some shit. All nine hundred and some of those people are gonna play that bitch. Right. So th- I know for a fact they're gonna good, play though. it. You know what I'm saying? Rather yeah. than having ten K followers and only, you know, five hundred listen to it. Right, right. No, I feel that. Yeah. yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. Um what I was about to say. Oh, you was talking about the ten K follow thing. Did you know? Um when you have like more than ten K, like you get like extra features on your Instagram? I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what? Um, how some people, like, you be on their uh, stories and, like, they be like to swipe up for more kind of thing. Yeah. And, and it's like the actual. Oh, to like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like what partners, that is. Yeah. yeah. That's what that is. You can get, when you get 10K, you get that feature. I had somebody hit me up, like, yo, you want to buy my account? 200 bucks. So that's why people sell selling it, though. Because yeah. you get, I, I, I think like, you get nah. different privileges. Yeah. 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 But it's for what? Yeah. Like, those people ain't for me. You know what I'm Exactly. Because then it's like, all right, you buy the account, then it's like, Okay, so you can't just act like, oh, I'm this person now. Like, yeah. Or you actually, can, you can. Hold you up. Can, you but- can. You <laughs> can. All right. This is a shot to all you promoters. All right. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Um, dude, I've had promoters like tell me, like, oh, yeah, your shit's dope. Mm. And then they'll like look through my social media and just be like, mm. And then they'll book somebody else with more following. Music's not as great. And now I know hate shit, bro. It just no, isn't. It. it makes it. Yeah. Um, and then they'll pull up with no fans. Like I've been at shows, bro, where people have stronger, stronger followings. I'm, I'm using air quotes, stronger yeah. followings, um, and I pull up more people. Right. But my quote unquote base is smaller. So I'm like, you know, you promoters, y'all trying to really put money in your pocket, or what are you trying to do? Because I'm bringing my peoples in. You know what I'm right. saying? So what's going on here? They rather pay for the um, the look that like okay, say they person that has like fifteen thousand followers, they go to the show and everything. They'll rather pay for them to like 
like do a story at that at the show like I was there kind yeah, of thing yeah. and get the follows from that than to actually get like actual bodies inside the building yeah. you know what I'm saying that can actually like, pay for that which is like it uh it depends what you're trying to do yeah. like you're trying to pay your bills and get, really get money you need the people there I don't care what you say like at, you. at a show at a concert you. you want people there you, you want, want bodies, bodies there. there Yeah, you need people so you can buy drinks you get people just so you can actually turn up and enjoy the vibe mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying like I don't know but if you want to go that social media route and do the whole thing like oh I got a bunch of followers so I have to look like I'm doing something which can work but yeah. also you can get kind of aired out like cause like if you ain't shit they gonna see that once they, they kind of see it, yeah. once people start pulling up for real because like oh you got like now you have a hundred thousand followers okay and now I want to see what you're doing there and they're like oh you're lame your shit's lame yeah like, like your this is your music yeah this is like, like yeah I mean but again I don't I try not to hate because like I understand that people have like a certain taste of music for everybody's sure. different yeah so I'm and, sure there is ten thousand people that like your music it's something for everybody but again like you said it's about making money right yeah. 100%. So like I don't care about likes. I don't care if people hit my that like button on my on my uh Instagram or right. whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Look through my story. But when I drop some merch or I drop a song on iTunes or whatever the case is, I better see them clicks, you know what I'm saying? Right. Nine nine cent buy, bro. No, facts. That's what I want. No. Um same with shows. You can follow me, I don't care. Pull up to my shows. And the thing is, like, dude, my shows are fun as shit. No, I've seen a couple of clips of yours. Dude, my shows are mad fun. Uh, if you buy a ticket from me directly, mm-hmm. like you pull up on me, like, yo, let me get a ticket. Uh, to every show, I bring like a cooler full of beer and I bring like a <laughs> bottle of liquor. So if you buy a ticket for me, you get to come into my area and drink with all the homies for free. That's lit. So I'll buy like, you know, 60, 70 beers, bro, and just have them there. And I just have everybody just drinking who bought tickets for me, bro. That's dope. And so like, um, actually, we <laughs> had a show that went kind of south back last year. And uh, on stage, like, I just had to try to save the performance. Mm-hmm. So I took my thing of beer up there. So I'm, like, passing out beer to people on stage. Yeah. Just kind of just turn the <laughs> yeah. vibe around. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel it, though. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, it's the way I see it is you're investing your time into me. It's investing either your $10, $20. The, mo- the least I can do is host you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, good host. And even if it's just some brew or something, like, come come hang out. Come have a good vibe. No, that's something, man. Because, like, I mean, part of the, the rapping thing is being an entertainer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you have to entertain people. And that's, that's part of entertaining is, like, Making sure your guests are pleased and stuff Thank like that. You, you yeah, come yeah. if they, especially if they came to see you. It's like why not give them that VIP treatment? Because mm-hmm. um, I feel like, especially like this day and age, like that stuff goes further than really like your music can on, honestly ever will. Yeah. Like they'll re- they remember your music and listen to your music, but they'll really remember that interaction they had with you more than yeah. anything. Dude, like, human interaction is important. That's exactly. why we're all tripping on COVID because like we're getting we're getting kept away from that. Exactly, man. You know what I'm hate this shit bro but uh <laughs> but nah man that's just that makes a huge difference because like people can like people listen to somebody's music their whole entire life and be like bro i just want to meet them you know what i'm saying yeah like that's literally all they want they don't they don't even know what they want to say to them they'll like they'll probably pass out when they see them but as long as they met them they can say that like that that human interaction yeah, yeah. like i got to just be in their in their area yeah. exactly i have this weird ass story and i like to tell it just because it's funny because I knew I knew the dude wasn't talking about me, but uh, so we're at Kung Fu Saloon on Washington mm-hmm. Avenue. Okay, yeah, we're all hanging out there, and uh, you know everybody's drinking, everybody's having a good time, mm-hmm. and uh, this dude comes up behind me. He's like, "Yo, man, what's up?" I know who the dude was. I'm like, what's up, man? <laughs> He's like, "You're that dude, right? You're that rapper, right?" And I was like, "That rapper?" I was like, "Uh, <laughs> mind you, I know the dude, but like, I mean, yeah, I'm a rapper." And I was like, "Yeah," I was like, "But I, I don't think." I think you haven't confused with somebody else. Right. Like, straight up told him. He's like, nah, bro. He's like, I know you. You're that guy. You're that rapper. And I was like, all right. And he's like, hold on. And just like walks away. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. So I just turned back around with my crew. Like, that was the weirdest interaction I've had tonight. <laughs> That's what's up. Go back to hanging out with my friends. I feel tapping my shoulder. Mm-hmm. Dude's back. He's like, yo, what's up, man? I was like, hey, what's up? He's like, this is my friend from New York. I told him about you. He wanted to meet you. And I was all, what? what? And his friend's like, hey, what's up, man? I was like, well, what's up? And he goes, you're, you're the rapper? And I was like, yeah. But I just told him, I think he's got me confused with somebody else. He's like, nah, you're him, right? You're him. And I was like, this, mind you, the whole time, no one has said my name. Right. No one has said Trill. No one said Trill City Guapo. No one said Guapo. Nothing. Right. So I know these guys got me confused with somebody else. And the dude's like, yeah, yeah, man, from New York, blah, blah. I just wanted to meet you, say hi. And I was like, all right, cool, yeah, man. Buy the music on iTunes. He's like, yeah, I will, I will. Walked away. Not one time did I get a name from them. Not one time did they say my name. So they met somebody who they wanted to meet for so long. And right. I was, you know, I guess I looked like him. <laughs> or I was that guy. I don't know. But yeah. to this day, all I just, you're that rapper. You're the rapper, right? You rap? And I was yeah. like, all those things are factual, bro. Yes. Yeah. 
I guess that's me. So. I mean, you could go in a room and say that to like a lot of people, and they're probably gonna say yes. Yeah, like, right. They're gonna be like, yeah, yeah. It was I'm, just the weirdest thing because the funny part was that you know he came and approached me. That was cool, but then he went and got his friend. friend yeah, and his friend's like, yeah, bro, what's up? I'm like, oh, this is the weirdest thing, bro. Like, if that's what you're gonna get though. At one point, I like, yes. I mean, you might have already got it because <laughs> you don't know if that was yeah. The, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I think you got me confused with a different Mexican dude. I hate yeah. to tell you that, man. But <laughs> but I mean, if that's cool, it's cool if that is you. Like, yo, yeah. you, shit, you're out in New York and everything. So you know that's what I'm what's saying? Up, right? Like, some some guy out there right now is in his apartment like, yeah, I got to meet Trill City Guapo one time. Yeah. Houston. Nah, <laughs> but out there. you'd be surprised by the people listening to stuff all over, dog. Yeah. Like, um, no, yeah. I, I keep tracking my Spotify uh, numbers. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of my stuff gets played like in Norway and Germany. Which is weird because I really thought Mexico would be up there, mm-hmm. or at least like you know the West Coast of the uh, uh, United States. Nah, them like them Russians, German, foreign, German, foreign, yeah. bro, they love rap. They love Dude, it. They'll, it's so it's such a weird. It's just weird. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because like I'm like, do they understand what I'm saying? Or are they just going off just like this shit just sounds good? I, I think it just sounds good. Yeah. Like they love the vibe and energy, and maybe some of them like. Because I know like some people like listen to that stuff to just learn English. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So it's like. I don't know. Maybe it's like your tone or something. You just fuck with it, bro. Could be. Yeah, I don't know, bro. But shit, it's shit. They listen. That's all that yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah, right? no, that's all that matters. Yeah, and I, tr- I try to, I try to like pay attention to those numbers and yeah. analytics. You know what I'm saying? So like right now, I'm trying to push my stuff more towards you know, Germany and oh, Norway. Yeah. So I've hit up more DJs over there, emailed them, try to get it out. There. No, that's dope. That's smart too, because um, we had a, like a couple guests like early on on the show that uh, they went to where'd they go? Uh, Hoax and Hayes. They went to Germany, right? It's, yeah, something like that. It's one of them places, man. Yeah. They out there living out there, man. Just touring. Yeah, that's what's up. Like, yeah. well, they kind of slowed it because of COVID and everything. But you know, like they was out there going doing shows. Yeah, I'm trying stuff. to get the international money, yeah, bro. Like I'm, I'm done trying to get it here, bro. Yeah. It's, I just feel like if you just focus on the United States, bro, you boxing yourself in. You're 100%. limiting yourself to money, bro. Because dude, money all over the world, man. Exactly. And like, honestly, though, and it's, it's it's sad. It's but it's the same thing. Like, um, you never, you're never as on in your city you come from than you are somewhere else. Bro, ain't that the fucking truth? You know what I'm saying? Especially here in Houston, though. But, hey, I'll say it to everybody. Houston is a hating-ass city, bro. Yes, it is. I don't care what anybody says. Yes. He, dude, <laughs> from top to bottom, bro, it's yes. a hating-ass city. And it's so weird. So I'm like, dude, you have everything L.A. has. Other than the weather and the beaches, you have everything L.A. has. You can. This could be a dope-ass, like, media central, like, you know what I'm saying? And people were just like, nah, fuck that. I have my own podcast. Fuck their podcast. I'm a rapper. He's a rapper. Fuck him. Yeah. He's a rapper. And I'm just like, dude, what? Yeah. Why? Yeah, why, why? bro? Like, <laughs> like I, I just, I don't get it. And, it's, and it really is just when you start to pop off. Because when, when you grinding and still in the grind, people are just like, all right, whatever. They don't pay you no money. At all. As soon as they start hearing your name, they're like, well, what's he got? What's he got that all I don't right. got? Like, hey, let's, he let's link up. Let's collab. Like, all right, now you want to collab. Now you want to like, collab. Man, I've gotten a got a couple of those bro. yeah of course yeah. bro because it's like i'm i've been like i've been peeped your stuff i've been seeing your shit, shit was dope let's work you know what i'm saying yeah. like i think you can make some dope stuff whatever it may be people like nah you ain't got enough followers you ain't, you ain't met me <laughs> yeah like in yeah, that too like you said like you ain't got enough followers like what like i, I would rather have you know an account with 100 people who have 100 followers and 100 of those followers follow me than somebody who's got two, three thousand and nobody's paying attention exactly. to me. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's weird. I mean, I don't pay attention to the whole followers thing, bro. Yeah. Nah, because it's, it don't make any, it's like, it's pointless. I'd rather, I'd rather get that interaction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, because it's plenty of times I'll post on my social media, like, or ask a question or, you know, just ask some interaction. Nobody do this shit. Like, all right, like, what the fuck y'all following me for? Like, yeah, really you know what I'm saying? You, you put up a question, just- like, yo, what should I make for dinner today? And just nothing. You got like 50, 60 people that saw it. Like, none of y'all want me to make nothing? Right. Like, what's going on here? Yeah. I cook better than your mama's. Like, come on, bro. Right. But I put my business something. on the front street, then that, y'all be paying attention to that shit, though. Oh, yeah. Put a little bit of gossip in there. Oh, bro. yeah. Dude, yeah. man. This ain't the shade room. Like, <laughs> I'm about to start with my own gossip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, True Sue Gobble got 10 baby mamas. People be like, 10 baby mamas? Dang. Are you kidding me? Like, How's yeah, he living out here like this? Like, <laughs> bro, just a little bit, of, a little bit of cheese man in the world, bro, and people will just eat that shit up. No, nah, for real, it's uh, it's been it's been people I follow that like that's how they promote like their stuff, like some mm-hmm. whatever they're dropping, like it's some beef or like it's some um some drama going on. It's like that's like for me, it's like that's different kind of like promotion. Yeah, but I see the benefits of it. If you can do that, shout out to you because it works. It definitely works. no, it does. I mean. I didn't know who Quando Rondo was, bro. Let's be, you know, Quando Rondo. Yeah, I heard him before. Okay. I thought he's a white guy. I'm never, never heard of him before, up until this whole King Von thing happened, mm. bro. And now I'm just like, okay, 
obviously what we just talked about the gossip the cheese med the you know the bullshit the beef whatever now we know who this dude is mm. that's such a shitty way to come on bro right for people to only know you for the bad shits going on in your life and not the good shit like yeah man that sucks that's why you gotta just i don't know what i mean he's getting money so yeah. <laughs> right he's getting the exposure uh, can't hate uh, it's, it's, it's no such thing as bad publicity right? yeah that's what they say man yeah uh, it's i think it's it's all up on to you, you how you morally kind yeah. of view it kind of type thing because i don't know that's not i want to be trying to nah that's not that. i want to be yeah either, bro. Nah, <laughs> heck nah yeah that's not that's such not a bad look. that's it and it's such a bad look just like i said you know bad energy brings bad energy you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so if you're putting that energy out there to try to bring that attention all you're gonna get is just bad attention right you ain't get no good shit yeah yeah and so yeah i can't live with that in my yeah, life bro. i feel that yeah the i don't like beef i don't beef with rappers i don't beef with anybody bro like, you want you want to start a rap beef I don't know what uh, to be honest. Look, I ain't never been in a rap beef, and of uh-huh. course, like being a rapper, you you pay attention to the to the previous beefs, you know, in history or whatnot. I guess, right? Right. But like, I wouldn't want to be in a beef with anybody, bro. Like, I don't have the time or the energy for it. Right. Like, and I see some of this stuff, like even with uh, with Gucci and Jeezy, like that was on some personal shit, yeah, like on some street person. shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even on some personal street shit, like I'm not trying to like. If I don't see you every day, you're out of my mind, bro. Like I'm yeah. not really fuck with you no more. Out of sight, out of mind. Man. Yeah, man. But some of these dudes, they carry grudges, man, and. I'm like, dude, make a diss track about me. That's fine. Yeah. I'm just going to go about my business. But even then, like, the diss tracks kind of turn into, like, real life. And, like, they start getting personal with it. And, like, okay, now they're trying to kill me. Like, bro, I just made a diss yeah. track about you. Like, you know, it was just it's rap fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, no, yeah. And, and I, I do understand that beef is part of hip-hop. Like, it is part of the game. Like, yeah. It should be. But but uh, to, people are too sensitive now. Yeah. It's like, they can't. They'll, they'll want to diss it out but can't take it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do that. Like, you can't don't. Just because I, I dropped the diss track, don't come like and do a job at my house. Right. Like, <laughs> don't fuck? pull up on my grandma's yeah, crib, bro. Like, what like, the fuck? My <laughs> like, grandma's probably pretty dangerous. So yeah. I, w- I wouldn't pull up just out of your safety, bro. But uh, you know. Right. Nah, it's just, I don't know. P- uh, it's really, people are just sensitive. But also, I think just people don't own. Um, it's a lot of people doing music for not not for the really sake of doing music anymore. Yeah. Um, there's like, again, it's the whole getting money thing, which is like not wrong because. Music now is like a career field, mm-hmm. a career pathway. Like it's a serious one now. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Like the art is being diluted in a sense. Yeah, and, and it is. It yeah. is because you have so much going on right now. Right. Everybody's in. The, well, same with podcasts, and I think YouTubers. Right. Mm. COVID started, and everybody was like, "Well, I can't go to work. Oh, I'm just gonna do a podcast. I'm gonna do a YouTube. They're, they're making fucking money. Yeah. And they go and invest into it, and they're like, "Wait." I have to like network. I have to meet people. I have to bring people to my platform. Right. And they quit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Same with rap right now. Everybody's at home. People buying their equipment with their stimulus checks, putting out new music. Right. We'll see in 2021 when shit really starts opening up who's really about it and who was just doing it just because they were bored at right. home. Right. You know nah. what I'm saying? Nah, I feel like anybody right now, like, they should be like just creating, mm-hmm. like yeah. just creating content. And so whenever like st- shows do open up, you got to like, you got a whole set you could do if you yeah. really need to. Yeah. Like, that's a smart thing to do. Well, I was I was doing shows. With, that's why I say fuck promoters. Um, I was doing I was doing <laughs> shows. Except for, nah, I was doing shows um, all last year, mm-hmm. um, and it was cool. But I wasn't really getting paid for them. I'll be straight up. I wasn't yeah. really getting paid for them. That's how it goes. For, um, like, yeah, starting but off. I was, and that's the thing. Like, I wasn't getting paid, so I found a different way. I started making my merch. Mm-hmm. Right, you know what I'm saying. So I sell my merch at my shows. Um, I was selling water bottles at my shows that's for smart. a dollar. That's smart. Yeah. I don't care what everybody says, bro. People need water at those 100%. shows, bro. Yeah. If you've been to a show, you going to need some water. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. So uh, it's good to have so, anyway. Yeah. So I was just <laughs> making, you know what I'm saying? Try to make some pocket change while I'm there or whatever. That's smart, man. Um, and so right after uh, right after COVID hit, or right before COVID hit, I was like, man, we're going to go to South by Southwest. After South by, fuck it. We throw in our own shows. Mm. We're going we gonna to start doing our own thing and really get it going. COVID hit. Kind of slowed that yeah, down. But I'm down, like, man, bro. 2021. We get we're getting back on it, bro. Hopefully, I understand man. what this I hear they have a vaccine, so hopefully all this starts I'm not going away. <sighs> you taking it? You taking the vaccine? Look, I'm a man of faith, right? Uh-huh. I'm also a man of science. So I think I will take I will take the vaccine. Like are you taking the first batch or are you just like in, well, are you taking no, the No, no, hold on. Okay. Just, <laughs> hold on. I didn't say the first batch. I didn't go that far, man. Hold up, hold up. I will not be taking the first batch. Um <laughs> Nah, but it's it's like all right. It's the new PS Five just came out, right? Mm-hmm. Just like any console, when it first drops, there's always something wrong with right, it. Yeah. And then that second gen that they drops, like it's good now. Right. I'm waiting for the second gen. I'm gotcha. waiting for people's arms to like start falling off or something, <laughs> and be like, yeah, I don't need that one. I need right. the next one, y'all fix. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, man, yeah, I feel it. Um, 
Yeah, I ain't taking that much for a while, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, no, like, not for a while, but I will take it because, like, again, there's people out there in the world that are smarter than me. They're mm-hmm. scientists. So right. I should listen to people who are smarter than me. No, if they 100%. say it's safe, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, there's All right, so there's a doctor I follow on YouTube mm-hmm. named Dr. Mike. Shout mm-hmm. out to my girl for putting me onto this dude. He's really funny. But if he takes it, I'm like, yo, he takes that shit, I'll take that shit. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Trust so, the physician. I trust, yeah, I'll trust the physician, yeah. If he says, yo, I went and took it, I'm going to the same place he went and took it at, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wherever he stay at, I'm going to that one. Yeah. Don't give me no off-brand, like, generic one here in Texas Man, or something. Like, hey, they'd be quick to do it, too. You'd yeah. get, it, get it from, like, um... I don't know, great value, though. I wouldn't just be surprised if great value comes up with their own little vaccine. Yeah, you get the money from Walmart. Dude, great value just always has a bootleg version of everything. Everything, bro. man. Great, yeah. Man, shit. Somebody gonna buy it, so... Somebody gonna buy it, yeah. I, I still buy cereal in the bag. So yeah, whatever. I mean, because it's it's the same stuff, same ingredients. Just it, it's not the same. Same um, name. It's not the same name. It's also not the same amount of um, uh, I don't know, like effort put yeah. into it. Like sometimes they just kind of <laughs> throw that shit together. Yeah, <laughs> like like it's a kind of work. Like yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's only your finger will fall off. Right. <laughs> Get to keep your whole hand. You have internal bleeding and like right, you know, like no, I don't bleeding need that. and you know stomach sores and you're like, damn, like, like, like do I want to take this? Is this worth it? I'd rather just wear a mask. <laughs> right. Like you know what I'm saying? I'd like, be cool with that shit. Nah, but I, I probably I probably will take it and just I don't know. It's just a whole. I can't do this COVID thing for another year, bro. Yeah, that's hard. It's you know what I'm saying? Like, so many people complaining, like, all right, let's just take the vaccine. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want the vaccine. I just want to go back to the way everything was. Like, I mean, if you don't take the vaccine, it's not give it the way it was. Yeah. Like, or find another. At least, like, okay. Honestly, you know, honesty, it'll be done over with everywhere where they mask. And, like, those first two weeks when we say we shut down, yep. we shut down. Like, probably not, like, 75% of COVID away. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It was like that small 25%. And at that point, like, okay, wear your mask. And then, like, that should be gone, like, by a month. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But here we are, you know? The problem is we're selfish people here in the U.S., bro. 100%. We're selfish. As much as we don't want to be like, no, I'm not. I'm so... Everybody has... We're all selfish, bro. Like, there's... I mean, we call ourselves a first world country. You know what I'm saying? But, like, is that like... Uh, does like, anybody else do that, or is it something we just do? You know what I, I'm saying? I think we just do because I mean, <laughs> if I do recall correctly, isn't Flint still dealing with the dirty water? I don't think their water's been fixed. Nah, but we call ourselves a first world country. Exactly. <laughs> we got homeless people on the street like nothing. Yo, that hurts me so much. Dude. I hate seeing that shit, dude. Homeless people, like homeless people, man. I feel for them because, like, I don't know. I just have like a special heart, a special place in my heart for homeless people. Mm-hmm. Like whenever I can, I'll give to them. You know what I'm saying? I, I really don't care. My thing is like I don't care if you're gonna use this money for drugs. Use it for whatever you want to do. Right. I just you know what I'm saying. I'm giving you what I can to help you out. Right. Your decisions are your decisions. You're a grown ass man. Right. But so you're gonna get out of here. You're gonna get out of here. You gonna get out of here. Yeah. Right. But if I got this leftover sandwich, cousin, you want it? You can take it. Yeah. Go yeah. Ahead, yeah. You need to eat, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like person, I, can, I can buy you some McDonald's. Cool. Like yeah. You that shit. It's a couple dollars. I'm gonna buy that for me anyways. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But nah, it's. I feel like, yeah, they gotta help them want to help themselves, and that'd be the hard part. And I there's like, a lot of homeless people here in Houston. Yeah, there's man. a lot, because especially like, like just like the downtown area. Like, mm-hmm. boy, you stay out too late, they be out. I feel like just being like, yo, dude, pass out these mixtapes. I'll get, <laughs> I'll bring y'all some forties and right, a sandwich bro, around hey. mid, around noon. They you know be throwing bugs at people like, <laughs> <laughs> like for you real. Imagine being downtown, hit crack it, like, yo, man, what's up? I got this Trill City Guapo mixtape. Right. Yeah, this is mixtape, mixtape, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, Come on, man. He's going to try to give me a 40 later, man. Come on. Just get this. $5. Like, all right. Yo, you got some crap. <laughs> like, yeah, right. Yo, no. Nah. <laughs> that's some wild shit. That's a good advertisement, though, man. Dude, you, know? you got to yeah. get it. I mean, you got to promote. I think that's one thing as artists, bro, we don't do we do not do too much of. You got to promote. It's, you know what that is? However it is. Um, it. I feel like a lot of people... Um, have this like star mentality already? Yeah, and like they, they feel- should know me. They should know who I exactly. am. Exactly, yeah. and they they operate like these mainstream artists operate, like like a Kendrick Lamar would, or yeah. like a J Cole or Beyonce or something. Like they're at the point where they don't have to like promote anything. Mm. It, the music promotes itself. Yeah, like and because I've seen multiple people like they'll like say like they'll log off Instagram or like they'll shut down their page or something like that or like even like start fresh and then like and then like don't have a rollout prepared you know what I'm saying like when you do that stuff you gotta have a rollout like you gotta have a single video Video, like okay you got shows lined up if you don't have shows you can do like some live performances on Instagram now like they got that it's like it's so many different things you can do I hate doing that I I hate the sound of that shit it's I've been invited to do a couple I'm just like why it's not really I'm gonna get five people watching me like that are are they really watching me though? Like 
they just have me on. Like, I don't, the, I don't know. Yeah. It's so weird for me. But again, I like the interaction. Like when you come to my shows, mm. it's cool that you get to see me on stage perform my music. But you're probably there because you've already seen, you already heard most of my music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I like to just talk with people, have a good time. Right. People who don't know who I am, I'll come up with a water bottle. Be like, yo, you some water? Here you go. Hey, what's up, man? I'm sure I'm about to do my set later. You know what I'm saying? Blah, right. Blah. And you miss all that doing the whole live. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like that interaction. I like to talk with people. That's like, I feel like with music, that's like one of the main things about it because like, that's how like collaborations happen like because okay, yeah, it's, a, it's another dope artist, a dope artist, but like, if the if the vibe isn't right, mm-hmm. like it's it's not gonna it's not gonna be as good as it could be. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like in that interaction, that's important. Like, and that's what I love about like uh, the Houston scene is like it be like, a lot of people that's like for themselves, but when those people that come together and want to work, they work. They work. And yeah. like it's that 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 energy that's created with that yeah. is so dope. Like man, because that's what that's how I know like Houston has the potential to uh, like rise from that shit mm-hmm. because we have so many dope and creatives and stuff here that's willing to do the work. It's just like right now, like we're still like I feel like we're covering from like just old shit, like yeah. just old beefs that was on and just mm-hmm. how people move and like just old head like thinking. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and but I I was thinking about that. Uh, that's how I know I'm an old head too because uh, I was driving. <laughs> uh, I was driving down 45, yeah. and I was missing. I was like, man, I missed the like when the uh, the B someone like oh the, yeah, the B someone was there. Yeah. Like that shit's like it's not even there no more. It's, it's always something different. They now. changed it to like vote. I think they changed it to Elote one time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Elote had died. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like it's removed now. I was like, what is that? I don't even know what that is. But it's like, but also that shows at times like it's mm-hmm. a new generation. Like they. Do, they're like fuck that shit. What is yeah. this? Like this been what is for how be long? Someone yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I can be whatever I want. That's what they're thinking. Like yeah. so, I feel like once we get into this new age of like creators and just like collaborators and stuff, yeah, we feel, man, he used to be so great. I recently, well, I only did features with the homie True, right? Mm-hmm. I've only done features with him. And I recently did one with the homie uh, Miss Malik. She out here in Houston. I think I, I saw the single. Yeah, 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 she did a single War Zone because. Um, I play, dude. I play a lot of video games, bro. Right? Yeah, and I, I Twitch stream. That's one of my things. That I Twitch stream. So okay. I content create pretty much every day. What games you be playing? Warzone. Uh, I play Call of Duty Warzone. I'll play a uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Okay. Um, I like. <laughs> I like to play this game called Cities. Uh, basically, you just like build your own city. Oh, okay, that's and so like I slap my music and just like build my city. I got like thirty nine thousand. Shout out to all my residents in my yeah. city. <laughs> um, but you know what I'm saying? Like I, I built. I just I have a good time. And really, again, it's it's mainly mainly it's mainly talking with my my chat, interacting with mm-hmm. them. Okay, you know what I'm saying? The gaming and all that is cool. They're really not there for the gameplay because I suck. Bro. They're here for like, but they're there, the they're there to hear me talk. You know what I'm saying? Right. Chop it up with them. And uh, I have a lot of cool people in my community, man. Uh, someone's in there right now. I don't know who else is up, but a lot of the, uh, my peoples are kind of overseas and stuff. So that's dope. Right now, I'm sure they're sleeping. How long you been twitching? Uh, about the same time I've been rapping, like two years. Okay, that's yeah. dope. Mix. It's different revenues, man. It's like dude, shit. it comes in, dude. Yeah, man. And it's it's really just trying to find different platforms to mm-hmm. kind of share the music, especially with with COVID going on. Right. Got to find a way to get it out there. So with that, they don't ever like flag you for like playing your music on there. They haven't yet. Nah. Cause okay, cause but it's my music, so what right. are they gonna do? You know, tell me. And actually, when I when I recently dropped Active, it asked me if I wanted to upload it to Twitch soundtrack, mm-hmm. which Twitch to kind of get around the whole having to pay for music. Mm-hmm. You download that app, and they cr- uh, curate these playlists what? of like artists who allow their music to be played on stream. Huh. So I've allowed all my music to be played on stream. So there's people out there with that app who are just play- pushing play, and right. somehow I'm getting plays off that shit. That's so, dope. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. What is that called? It's called Twitch. It's called Soundtrack by Twitch. Soundtrack it's an app that you install into Twitch. Okay. Yeah. All right. Check that out. That's dope. All right. Um, but you used talking about Warzone, the uh, the, sing- the single you had dropped. Yeah, man. Um, she hit me up and like I told her, I was like, "Yo, you're like the first artist here in Houston, aside from the homie, mm-hmm. who I'm doing a feature for." It. Man, it was weird. It was weird because, like I said, I'm still kind of new, and I know some people. I know mm-hmm. some people I, I could do a feature with. Right. Uh, my thing's just like I don't want. I didn't want to do a feature with somebody to try to get. Um, clout from them, right? You know what I'm saying? She wanted because actual for the actual art, for the actual, yeah. And with her, she was like, "Yo, I want to be the song about like Warzone and mm-hmm. this and that." And I was like, "That's right up my alley, bro. Right. Like, I'm down with this shit." Yeah. Um, and she's been rapping for about like a year, so she's pretty fresh in the game. Okay. Um, and so I was like, "Yeah, let's do it." She's like, "For real?" I was like, "Yeah, dude, like, let's go." If you want like the same same thing you said, you want to work, let's work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Um, so we got to work on that one, and um, 
you know, I had a homie who was like, dude, you should do some features with some bigger artists, man. Like, that should really put you on. Yeah. And like I said, I don't I don't want to go that route because I don't want people to fuck with me because I'm with that artist. But I feel like just the same thing, like you said, like you get your fans from, like, you playing your music mm-hmm. and everything. Like, you'll get fans from... People. Their their yeah. fans, like yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying, because they're actually like it's gonna be people that's gonna only listen just because you're doing a feature with that artist, you know, yeah. of course. But like somebody's gonna listen to like, oh shit, this nigga's dope. Nigga's good yeah, thing, I, yeah, I fuck with this music actually. Let me let me jam this shit, and it's like okay, cool. Now you actually have another fan base. So yeah. I feel like the um cross prom- cross promoting is always good. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. If it, especially if it's something good, like you're, what you're creating is really good, then like definitely do it. Yeah. I don't see um a really down. Like there's to very it. few artists here in Houston that I would want to do a feature with. Really? Yeah. Like I wouldn't. I, I see a lot of people do the Paul Wall. Mm-hmm. You know, like oh yeah, I got Paul. Yeah. I feel like I mean respect to Paul Wall though. No, hundred like, percent. Paul Wall, Slim Thug. I mean those are all OGs here. 100%. Respect to them, but like I'm not. I'm not gonna come out of pocket. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. It's too much to money. have you. Yeah, not just that, but it's just like. I don't know. That you're not an artist that I would want to like do a feature with. I feel like they're always legends, but to me, like I feel like they're outdated because yeah. wh- wherever they, whoever they're doing a feature on, they're trying to fit their sound because their sound is so like not what is now anymore. Yeah. So it's just like, why not just get somebody in your own age group or sound like that has the same sound, same sound, you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like. I don't know, I, but again, it's always like a marketing move. You can always do that. So he's going, you're going to get plays and listens off of that because that's I mean, that's not how Sauce Walker like got on, but that definitely helped catapult Sauce his career. Sauce is a whole another story. Yeah, he's bro. he's a he's different now. Like when he first, was first popping off, that like helped his career, but I don't even think like again like that didn't help him pop. Like yeah. it just he was already popping anyway. That's just yeah, I think yeah. cuz his songs was dope and he's like a whole different like he in a whole different lane now. Yeah, he's in he's in his own lane. He yeah, yeah he's he's in that OnlyFans money, right? <laughs> yeah. No, nah, he's in his own lane. Bro, and I'm not even going to hate on it. I don't look. <laughs> bro, get your money, bro. Yeah, no. Nah, get he, it. He uh, has some um, some some badass white women on there. Hey. hey. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> look. Get your money how you going to get right. it, right? Get your money how you going to get it. I'm I'm not going to hate on it, bro, at the end of the day. Hey, man. Um, yeah. You're doing something better than I am, so shit. Dude, I can't be mad you know at what I'm you. saying? I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to get there, man, but but not that. But not wow. with the OnlyFans yeah, money? Yeah, I'm the, not. Just the money? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I don't know how to feel about OnlyFans sometimes, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't support it. Like, I don't have an account. Um, you got to get an account, man. They got free ones. They got free ones. I'm all on the free ones. But <laughs> it's almost like, why, though? Like, there's so many <laughs> other sites. Why? Cause, man, okay, me personally, I feel the, like... The one thing I do like about OnlyFans is that it puts the power back into the women's hands. Yes, yes. That I'm cool with, 100%. Like, I don't... I, I don't. From what I've heard about, like, the porn industry and stuff, like... It's very trash. Very trash, yeah. yeah. So, like, if the girls can do this safely and just kind of do it on their own... Hundred percent for that. Yeah. Live your life. That's none of my business. Right. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm not for it, bro. Like, nah. I'm not paying twenty dollars, thirty dollars oh, okay. for no. subscription, bro. Like, no, no, no. I'm not doing that. That's, that's why I say I get the free accounts. I get yeah. on the free ones. You know, whatever <laughs> they say, like tip morning. I got a whole list. Don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> you gotta look for them. But um, I feel like with the porn industry now, though, it's very like like you said, because the way they treat women so bad and they're not paying them well. Mm-hmm. Like, just the porn now is so lackluster. Yeah. Like you'll be better. Look, you'll find better porn. From the amateurs, like the people that just like doing OnlyFans and stuff like that, because yeah. like, and I feel like that's why so many people buy into it because like they rather like I rather buy like, like spend like what fifteen dollars a month to buy OnlyFans than to pay like twenty dollars a month for like Pornhub, but like I'm watching the same videos all the time. But that kind of reminds me that it just kind of gets me to thinking like like you're saying. So you finding better content with a smaller. The smaller artists or the smaller uh, creators link same, up a collab. Same, same thing with music, though. Same thing with music, <laughs> no, right? <facts>. Like you, <laughs> you have smaller artists that people should be following. You know what I'm saying? And and finding out and kind of noticing, like, dude, this yeah, this mainstream shit, this top tier, it's not as good as some of the smaller collab, the yeah. smaller uh, true, you know, co- content creators or whatever the case is. Nah. But we, you know, we'll do that with porn. But when it comes to music, it's like, nah, if you ain't signed, bro, I, I ain't mean, taking a listen, bro. But. I feel like music has always just been like a everybody's a tough critic with it. Yeah. Like and I feel like people are a lot more open now, but um like back in the day, I, f- I remember when like you had to have like a certain like look or sound to be a rapper. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if not you don't even take it seriously, bro. Like on some real Dude, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like when when I wanted to when I when I really wanted to start rapping, I had somebody comment that I shouldn't because I was brown cuz I was Mexican. And it wasn't it wasn't the whole rapping thing. I think it was just because I didn't sound like 
I guess, other Mexican rappers. Right. You know What's, what I'm saying? What does a Mexican rapper sound like? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you. I, like, did, I it, didn't. I didn't get the comment either. I was like, "What?" But is it because you're like doing like the Latin trap kind of I thing? Think, I think so. I think it was oh, because okay. you know what I'm saying. And it was. It was just a weird comment to hear from somebody. Yeah. You know, I shouldn't rap because I'm brown because I'm Mexican. Like that's that's only it's black people's lane. That's not where I should be. Type shit. Mm. And I'm just like I did. I don't know how to make music like Bad Bunny, bro. Like I don't know how to do this <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. I'm not in a banda, bro. I don't know how to play an instrument like mariachi. Yeah. Like I don't know what you want out of me, bro. Like all I know is that there's these dope ass beats, and I want to put some dope shit on top right. of that. And that's what I know how to make. But apparently, it's just not enough for you. It's. I, I didn't. I didn't get the comment. Yeah, like I just, it's, it's weird. But I've I've heard some. Like I said with the with the critics stuff. Like whatever, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make what I like and what my right. five year old likes. Right. Like my five year old. If she says my music sucks, I'm not releasing that shit. <laughs> I'm not putting <laughs> it out, bro. I'm not. If she's like, yo, this one slaps that. I'm like, yo, today. Right. Drop that drop shit today. Yeah. Nah, I feel it. Cause kids are like the most honest. Like they'll the honest. tell you. <laughs> yeah. If you're on point, you stink, whatever, you ugly, they'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. They're going to let you Especially know. Especially if you stink, bro. Yeah. Kids don't care. They got no filter. So what's that smell? Yeah, like, they're like, <laughs> I hate that, bro. What is that smell? I'm like, shit, man, that's cooking. Shut up. Get out of here. Go to your room. <laughs> Go to your room, fool. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, kids are great, though, man. Yeah. Nah, dude, having, having a kid has definitely changed my whole outlook on life. Man. I bet, it's been It's been cool. But it's like I tell people, like, some people are like, oh, I hate kids. Kids are so this and that. I'm like, well, look at the parents, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you hate the kids, you probably just, there's something wrong with the parents too. Because like, I had my kid and right away I was like, I have a clone of myself. Right. Like anything that I teach this little thing here, she's going to learn it. Right. So like I introduced her to dope music, dope movies, everything that I like. Mm-hmm. And so now I'm just like, I like to hang out with myself. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm no, saying? Like, why dope. wouldn't I hang out with myself? So people are like, oh, my kids are so annoying. I'm like, damn, you spent no time with your kids. <laughs> that just tells me that, bro. Like, you told, you showed them nothing that you like. Because how could you be annoyed with someone who likes the same things you do? Some people are annoying, though. Yeah, I guess so. And yeah. like, <laughs> but I mean, kids, kids aren't that annoying, bro. Like, yeah. I don't know. Not to me. I think, Mine isn't. Yeah, right. I, and that could be your, your kid can be just yeah. mad chill on some shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> she is. Though. Yeah, I'm like fuck other people's kids. My kid's cool though. Yeah. Right, because like, oh, I feel like it's also a thing. Like, some people just have, uh, may have like resentment, you know, mm. from just having the kids too early mm. on some shit, or like yeah. they didn't even want the kid, and yeah. it's like they kind of had to have it. So it's like, I'm glad I have my kid early though, bro. I didn't want to be that old dad. I you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. my kid's graduating and I'm like, like just like still standing on my yeah. cane and shit. Like I can't play basketball with my kid or nothing, yeah. bro. Like I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I was like, if I I gotta have my kid before I hit 30, that way, you know what I'm saying, I can still whoop that ass to some ball or whatever anyway. No, I feel you. It makes but, a difference. They have yeah. a different like the kid has a different kind of like nurture growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And just a different relationship, yeah, with mm-hmm. your parents. Like we try to we try to be cool with my kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you the homie, but at the same time it's like, yo, when I tell you to do something, that shit means like right now. Yeah. Not like later. Yeah, you gotta find, make that line. You gotta yeah, you bro, gotta draw yeah. if not, they'll they'll walk over you. I, I I don't think I've ever had to whoop my kid. That's good. And people were like, What? Your kid's so well behaved, you've never I was like, never. But I had to raise my voice once or twice mm. and that like broke her heart, bro. She's like, Oh my god, you yelled at went to the room and cried. I looked at my girl like, I can't believe I just yelled at my baby. <laughs> Like, I can't believe I just did that. She's like, oh my God. She's just gonna eat your ass up. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I missed some time. Um so yeah. you know what I'm saying? But that's my little girl, man. So, I feel you know. you. Yeah, it's gotta have a soft spot. Exactly. Yeah, Dude, man. I'll have the biggest soft spot, man. I'm like, no, we're not doing that. And then my wife my, my girl walk out. My wife walk out. I'm like, yo, you try to go do that or what? Like yeah. <laughs> just don't tell your mom, bro. Hey, it's right. chocolate. Don't tell your mom. <laughs> that, that relationship is strong, man. That's what's up. That's dope. That's dope. That means a lot. That means a lot. That's cool. Yeah, man. Especially you know, because my mom raised me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So, uh, pop dipped out is what it is. Yeah. So I just want to be a better example, I guess, for my kid. You know what I'm saying. Breaking but at the same time, man. like I said, I think I'm dope, bro. So like, if I'm teaching my kid all the dope shit, I like. Like she plays video games too. Mm-hmm. Um, so she wants to stream now. Oh, where? You know what I'm saying. I'm like, you're too hey, young man. to stream. Five years old. You're a little too young. But uh, when you get older, yeah, sure. Man. She loves video games. She loves all that shit. It's That's crazy, dope. bro. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, man. That's cool. Like I like that. Um. I like the kids these days. They actually like, I don't know. Um, I feel like us as parents, since we were like raised in a different generation, oh, yeah. and like we just like caught like the forefront of like the social media and all mm-hmm. this like technology shit, and like we saw we got access to a lot of different things. How like people like live and like um raised like their kids or just like how people just like 
just grow in general yeah. like you know what i'm saying and like we can pick up on like what's good or bad like what we don't want to do for our mm-hmm. children or like our family members or something like that and so we can just i feel like us like our generation puts different love in kind of like a children you know what i'm yeah. saying if you're doing it the right way yeah, um yeah. and just how they like you said like she's into so much different so many different things like um and the fact that you wouldn't even have to you haven't even had to like hit or anything you know what i'm saying yeah like i mean this i mean there's discipline but i think with everything right mm-hmm. um you build you build discipline and even as like an artist or even podcast right mm-hmm. um discipline is not always physical right right you know, a lot of it's mental a lot of it's just you know the grind of it mm-hmm. um you know no one has to tell you you got to do a podcast no one has to hit you hey you got to do one podcast right. a week whatever the case They'll is. hit me every once in a while well he might <laughs> <laughs> right he's like i, I, I do hit him bro. <laughs> But no, nah. <laughs> you just gotta wet the belts a little bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but you know, you you kind of put that in your head as as you you know what I'm saying as you go with, go along with your craft or whatever. Like right. I, I have to, I have my myself. I have to put myself through this. And right. I, with, with your kids, you you gotta teach them like, you know, you want you want a kid that's clean, mm-hmm. right? You gotta tell them like, yo, you want to live in a dirty ass spot, right? You know, you want filthy ass room, no. Okay, then just clean your shit. So right. when you see someone on the ground, pick it up. And it's little stuff like that. Just, mm-hmm. You see someone trash trash on the ground, pick it up. And that turns from a piece of trash to the socks, the toys, to this, to that. You know what right. I'm saying? They it's pick up after themselves. Yeah, good habits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And kind of establishing that discipline without having to physically hit your kid. Right, bro. yeah. I mean, I'm Mexican, bro. Like, my mom whooped my ass, bro. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I never got my ass whooped. Right. Dude, I got my ass whooped plenty right. of times. Sometimes I got my ass whooped for not doing nothing. Exactly. Just because my brother did some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he going to get it. I'm going to get it. Right. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to carry, like you said, you don't want to carry that over into this generation. Mm. Stuff that might be negative. And I understand discipline. You should sometimes yeah. discipline. Sometimes kids need an ass whooping, no, dog. Sure. Let's be Let's be real. Yeah. Kids need an ass kids whooping, ass dog. Whooping out here. And, you know, uh, I mean, luckily mine hasn't. And But if they need it, discipline, yeah, I guess. But there's other ways to go about right. it. Right. 100%. Yeah. yeah. It's just how you talk to them. Honey. Yeah. Like, that's really what it comes down to because. I feel like a lot of people do the whole thing like uh, kids are kids mm-hmm. and like nah kids are people. Kids are people, like, yeah. They're they're like little grown people, like on some real <laughs> yeah. shit. And like yeah, I've never talked to my kid like a kid. I'm yeah. Like, oh honey, are you? I'm always like yo, dude, pick that shit. Come on, bro. Like come on, pick it up. And she's like what what? I'm like pick it up. Come on, like, let's get it going. And uh, people always thought it was weird that I talked to her that way. I'm t- I'm talking about since an infant. Mm-hmm. Like she'd be crying, be like yo, why are you crying, homie? Like stop crying. You know? So, yeah. Just little stuff. So, and and now that she's older, dude, just her communication with people, it's wild. Mm-hmm. It's wild. She's like top six percent in the nation for her grade. What? Dude, I have a crazy kid, bro. Like, That's dope. I'm like she looks nothing <laughs> like me, but she's like me, and she's like really dope. Like she's yeah, like superhuman. Dude, some shit. <laughs> I want to I want to do like a YouTube video with her, our YouTube channel, but at the same time. Uh, as an artist, like I know that with love comes hate, mm-hmm. and you she know, gets weird with that, bro. Yeah, th- yeah. Um, there's a lot more people that'll jump on just to hate. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I don't want to. That shit takes a toll on you, yeah. mentally and like uh, spiritually, and mm-hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? Like that negative energy will. It does a lot. It does yeah. a lot, bro. So I don't want to introduce that to her as a kid. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Once she's old enough for social media, you know, 13, 14 years old. Right. And even those years, they're insecure years for anybody, right? Yeah. You just, and now a teen and shit, voice is changing, get a deep, we right. got some, <laughs> some hair on my nuts now. You know what I'm saying? Agni's popping out. Right. Like, you know, you you in your fresh teens and like now you in social media and you seeing, you know, all these people, people looking f- like this, having certain things. And yeah. Like, and that, that hurts sometimes, yeah. bro. And yeah. so I don't want to introduce her to that just yet. When she's ready for it, she can do it. But yeah, man. Right. Yeah. That's a, that's always a hard thing to judge because mm-hmm. I feel like um, when like they get to those teen, like those little teen years, like 13, 14, like they want the social media because yeah. all their friends are on it on kind it, of thing. Yeah. So it's like, dang, I'm the only person without it. And then you feel bad because they, they don't have it or whatever. So it's like, you know, but they don't also, you know, same thing like his parents, like they don't recognize the the, the dangers you're trying to protect them from kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, it's parenting. Yeah, that's what, and that's why with my Twitch, I have my community, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm like, I would rather you get more involved in video games, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? than social media right because you don't have to show your face on twitch you don't have though. to show your face yeah. yeah not just that but the people that are playing those there's a lot of cool people playing yeah. games that just want to be cool with you right this isn't you know back when xbox lobbies were live where you'd go on and be like oh fuck your mother like yeah. what the fuck like dude what <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah i'm gonna rape your whole family like what like dude i'm just trying to play a video game bro like yeah. and they would say some wild wild this shit bro you're just like what the hell's going on in these lobbies nowadays it's a lot more chill people are just like yo you know what i'm saying you like the same game i like yeah let's link like, up and play let's it. link up and play yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's type that's that's the type of social media I want her to be involved with. The whole other, you know, you got girls who got implants and 
uh, photoshopping their pictures before they upload them and all kinds of shit. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to see her that shit. Yeah. Like, Nobody wants to see that. Yeah, come yeah. on, man. She's too young for that yeah. shit. They don't need to work no brains. But okay, man, that's dope, man. I, I'm, this is a dope interview. Um, before we go, we ask you at the common interest to uh, what are you interested and in, uninterested in. So, for example, I am interested in uh, 2021 music shows, like how that's gonna go. Uh, getting back and being social, being open um, into the world. Uh, looking forward to that. And I am uninterested in. Um, I'm uninterested in. I'm in, I'm interested in bills. It's, that's just, I don't like that shit. Bills? Yeah, I don't like it. No, nah. Uh, <laughs> dude, bills bills suck. I wish that's one thing that I'll tell you as a, as a kid, right? Mm-hmm. Like growing up, like oh, you're like oh, fuck. I can't wait till I'm an adult, yeah. I'll move out and do right. what I want. And they're like, all right, nigga, move out. Yeah. And you move out. And they're like, yeah, you gotta pay for your own Wi-Fi. Excuse me, what? what? That's not free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, huh? Uh, I thought it just floating around the yeah, air. Yeah, <laughs> bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are taxes? I gotta do that. Like, right. How, ma, how do you do this? Right. Yeah. When I first moved out of my crib, I remember going, "Hey, ma, um, <laughs> remember you used to show me how to make how do I, how do I do that again? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, was, you, am I supposed to put the colors with the whites in the washers? Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you do stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, I get I get the bills. Uh, let's see, what am I interested in? Mm. Uh, 2021 sounds cool. I'm not I'm not super looking forward to it just because the whole you know COVID thing. But uh, let's see, interested. I'm interested in. I guess what's next for my cooking ventures? Okay, because I went from cooking in the kitchen, and I started grilling. And I got this like little tiny grill outside my apartment. Oh, where? I mean, tiny grill, bro. It's but that's, tiny. That's, that's nice. And I be it's slapping like, on sorry. it, bro. Everybody come eat my food. They're like, damn, this shit slaps. I'm like, imagine if I had a full grill, bro. right? Got a big ass grill, dog. I had the dopest shit out here. But um, yeah, so I kind of just exploring, I guess, my more uh, culinary stuff. Okay, 2021. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, uninterested in. I hate the outside. I hate nature. Really, bro? I don't like getting dirty. I don't like <laughs> bugs. I don't like not having Wi-Fi, bro. <laughs> I'm so stop. I need people to stop asking me to stop to to go camping with them or to go travel with them. Here's That's my thing. Doing. Look, <laughs> again, I hate dirt. I don't like getting dirty. I just play. Just I don't. It's not something I like. I don't like bugs. Right? Mm. Nobody likes bugs. If you like bugs, you're a weird person. Cause like bugs bug. Like that's why yeah. they're called bugs. Yeah, um, bugging you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then like <laughs> lack of Wi-Fi. Like, dude, I have my phone glued to my hand throughout the day. And it's not just because, like, I'm bullshitting on it, but, like, you know, you're sending messages, you're right. connecting with people, networking, whatever the case is. Without Wi-Fi, dude, I don't know what I would do with regular speeds. Yeah. I just don't know. And I have constantly people like, yo, you want to go camping, man? I know this really good spot. Like, <laughs> why do I want to do that? <laughs> like, dude, like, yeah, we can hunt. I'm like, why? The Walmart's got all the food we need, bro, right down the street. <laughs> like, how about we just go to get a dope-ass Airbnb and play video games all right. day? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, smoke some weed, dog. Like, what's right. up? No, that is- yeah, but then, yeah, so I, uninterested outside okay anything outside i yeah. feel that <laughs> like, yeah animals don't ask me to ride a horse i'm afraid of horses word bro they're kind of terrifying they're, creatures they're beasts bro yeah. like they're legit beasts like after i saw what they did to christopher reeves when i was little remember superman the original superman christopher reeves he's riding a horse mm-hmm. horse threw him off bucked him broke his spinal whatever and paralyzed for the rest of his life at the peak of his career of being Superman, bro. Oh shit! I, I didn't know. Seeing that. that shit as a kid, I was like, I'll never ride a horse in my life, <laughs> ever, bro. Ever, dog. Like, if Superman could get hurt, dog. Like, nah. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a wrap for me for horses. So and I, being out here in Texas, everybody's like, Yeah, you got to ride a horse, bro. Like, no, I don't. Yeah. No, you're crazy. I'm not doing that. Yo, I feel you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right, bro. This, this is great content. This is a great interview. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Is there anything else you want to tell the people? Well, people, I'm like, uh, the people. Uh, my name is Trill City Guapo. You can find me on all platforms at Trill City Guapo. Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Twitch, um, Instagram, Twitter. If you got it, I'm probably on it. Bet. Then don't forget to do that. Um, check out all his music. Check out his visuals. Um yeah, man. Looking forward to what you got next, man. Yeah, man. There's some new music coming out soon, man. Dope, dope. Yeah, looking yeah. forward to it. We are the... Uh, we recording? You good? Okay, bet. Yo, just make sure you get that clothes out. Yeah. All right, so we are the Common Interest. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a friend, tell a couple people, you know what I'm saying, your mom, your dad, auntie, uncle, little brother, cousin, all that good shit. You with your family and Thanksgiving anyways. Um, so yet again, stay consistent with your vision because you're blessed with another day of the mission, and we are the... The Common Interest. Yes, sir. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace. Why stay used to be? Only roll with yuck, no, can't sit next to me. Herb on deck, my bride.
God is rolling hella trees. Guapo got it, nigga. Please get off of these.